Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program Fuckaroonies! Fuckaroonies! And today I'd like to talk about wristwatches in the workplace. That's right, fuckers, wristwatches in the workplace. And, and I gotta tell you fuckers, you know, I've been really disappointed with the quality of wristwatches in the workplace. When I worked for KBR, that's right, Kellogg, Brown and Root, the nasty fuckers who are in bed with Halle Burton, none of the executives actually had, none of them had really great watches. I remember this finance guy on quarter of a mil, he had a tag. Um, a, uh, a president of a division, no name, Seiko sort of shitty thing. What I do remember is that if you had uh, clocked up, I think it was, I think it was uh, fucking 35 years service, you got a, uh, a two-tone Rolex. That's what I do remember, a two-tone, and that's it, a two-tone Rolex <clears throat> for 35 years service. And uh, it's pretty disappointing, I mean... Some of the, you know, it's it's kind of, I always looked at people's watches just for a bit of inspiration and leadership, but uh, none of the, um, the fuckers there really had anything inspiring. And, you know, this is just how it is there, I suppose. They're just not into watches. It's so sad. You know, why can't your material goods set you as the man and help you on your career? This is the thing that's so sad, is that in Australia, we're a nation of fucking convicts. We really are bottom feeders, you know. We're a, a nation of convicts, and that lack of class is really, really obscure. And uh, the interesting thing is, you know, you look at the English. They are so caught up in the class system. And, uh, you know, there are some... Novo Rich British fuckers who wouldn't be caught dead. They don't wear Patek and brands like that because they say, oh, no, no, I'm not of that class. They're a bit scared of it, you know, so they you, they, they, they wear lower end shit. And, uh, you know, the problem with Australia is we're the descendants of fucking convicts and human sewage. That's right, fuckers. Human sewage, and uh, yeah, the wristwatches in the workplace, they don't have a big bearing. It's so disappointing, I mean, why can't you have a watch which helps you in your career? It's so disappointing, and uh, yeah, very, very sad, fuckers, very, very sad, I don't know what to say, it's disappointing, it's sad, but it's the, the awful fucking truth, I wish your wristwatch would help you, you know, you could buy a Rolex and sit back and know that you were in good stead, but no, no, it doesn't work like that. It's an unfair world, fuckers. It's very unfair. That's life, fuckers. That is life in the Western world, fuckers. It's unfair. Unfair, fuckers. But uh, what can what can you do? What can you fucking do? That's the problem, fuckers. I don't know what to say there. I wish wrist wristwatches would help you in your career, but they just don't seem to do much, fuckers. I'm sorry, I wished it would help. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me if your wristwatch has helped you in your career, fuckers. Welcome to Franco Cozzo. Franco Cozzo's main furniture and furniture's main Franco Cozzo. If you're the best furniture you want to buy, 30% off from Franco Cozzo in Brunswick and Footscray. Se i migliori mobili volete comprare, 30% in meno da Franco Cozzo a Brunswick and Footscray. Da Franco Cozzo dovete andare. Dove? A Brunswick and Footscray. Comprate da Franco Cozzo, 30% in meno. 
30% off all stock. And remember, when you walk out that door, you'll soon be back for more.